Oh, look at him. He looks crazy. What? I don't know if he likes the camera. I feel like that mean. What is going on, guys? Andy Gabs back for another vlog in the same exact, or almost the same exact spot that I left off with, with part one. We are still in Shibuya uh, right now. Shibuya. We're leaving like the little shopping area. Right now we are walking to Shibuya Crossing. That is the area that um, Han dies in Too Fast, Too Furious. If you've ever seen the movie, it's a pretty iconic scene. Uh, it's also like, I think it's like the most crossed intersection per day or something like that. Like in world. some out of, I don't know, something, there's a lot of people cross the intersection is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so we are walking there. How far do we got? Uh, like half a mile. All right, half a mile, and we will bring you back. I'm literally showing you guys a crosswalk, but I mean, yeah. it's significant, I guess. All right, so here it is, Shibuya Crossing. There's probably like a thousand people there about to cross the street. Um, so once the light turns green, I'll like speed it up so it's not as slow. But here we go. All right, yeah, just stay in the middle. Show you guys all the people crossing the street. So many. This whole entire like intersection opens. Um, I'm gonna end up being like the last one in the intersection, but it's fine. You know, no big deal. The light turned red. We should probably get out. Which way? All right, we're going this way. Run! Oh god, I look like such a tourist. All right, we made it. We're good. Yeah, uh, we are on the way to somewhere else. I figured this would be a cool place to show you. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, uh, but this is a giant pachinko place. So oh, I'm in attack. All right. All right, not allowed to film. That's what I figured, but whatever. Still got a clip of it. Oh my God, that's loud. Oh, it's like cigarettes in there. Yeah. Um, Pachinko is like Japanese gambling, but still kind of cool. At least you guys got to see it for half a second. Not sure where we are off to next. Uh, I definitely want to get a drink, and then I don't know, maybe adventure to a different town. But we'll see here in a second. We took a quick little break. Still in Shibuya. Sh Sh Shibuya. Got a chew high. Um, walking to the train station right now. Where'd you say we're going? Harajuku? Yeah, Harajuku. Harajuku. I might have already told you guys that. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we're about to head to the train station and go to Harajuku. If you guys were curious how we've been traveling around Japan, basically this is like a thing to buy tickets. So you just push what ticket you want, right? So you push the ticket and then you buy one of these based on this map to figure out where you want to go. Uh, so I just bought one for 140 yen and that gets us from Shibuya where that red line is to Harajuku which is the next line up. And then you just got to find which platform you're going to. Oh my god, I almost ran my ball. That would have been great. Yeah, you just got to find what platform you're going to. In this case, we are going to platform one. The Yamanote line, we just gotta ride at one stop. To Harajuku. To Harajuku. I figured I'd show you real quick how packed the uh, trains are. This is like the Tokyo subway line, the most busy, I would say, line. And uh, show you guys. What it's like getting on the train. It's pretty rough, there's a lot of people on this train. Like I said, it's packed, but luckily this one, ooh, I almost fell. We only gotta go one stop, so not too bad. This is Harajuku and Takeshita Street. So this is like kinda when you see like Japan craziness in movies, uh, a lot of it is areas like this. Uh, so we're basically just gonna walk down, kinda show you guys. There's a couple cool different places to stop right here. Um, but yeah, as we go to different places, I'll just bring you guys along. Uh, there's a really cool cat and cotton candy spot that I might stop at. Everything is super loud here, super crazy. Good place to get like souvenirs and stuff though, so we'll see what we end up getting into. But uh, yeah, Takeshita Street, oh, the Menasai, in Harajuku, Japan. So I don't know what this store is uh, right there, but it's kind of weird. So we're gonna go inside, they got all kinds of weird shirts and stuff. It's only two for 30 bucks. Maybe I'll get one. For, one for 18. Maybe I'll get one for Kelsey. Oh, excuse me. Oh, all kinds of lighters, rings, all kinds of different stuff. 
I don't really know what any of it is, per se. Just like random stuff. You actually get a tongue ring from here and see if I can force yeah. it through. I haven't worn a tongue ring in probably it won't work. a year. Dude, it I did it for six months. It's not going to work. Six months. I didn't put a new one in. And then you put it back in? I do have my tongue. Yeah, then I put it back in. I do have my tongue pierced. I don't think you guys you know nasty that. nasty motherfucker. That's nasty. It hurt really bad, honestly. Like, there was a probably like centimeter of my tongue that wasn't pierced anymore. And I just shoved it through. <laughs> it was not fun at all. It wasn't as bad as getting it pierced again, though. Like, that sucked a lot. When I got my tongue pierced, I couldn't talk for like two weeks. Uh, but yeah, super like little weird store. I gotta find one of my friends a um... Dragon Ball Z character. No, what did I have to find? Uh, piggy bank, piggy bank. So we gotta look around today, find a piggy bank. I already got a postcard and a magnet. Postcards for oh, this is kind of cool, dude. Look at this, thousand yen bill. But like That's pretty gold. It's only three hundred yen. I'm gonna buy one of these. Well, got a little shot glass. It's only like four bucks. Not bad. And that was one of the things on my list, so I still gotta get a piggy bank, a canvas painting for my brother-in-law, and something else, I think. But I don't remember what the other thing was. So I was gonna buy one of the cotton candies. Uh, this is the place right here. They make giant cotton candies, but someone was walking by with one, and I just asked if I could video theirs, because I'm not gonna eat it if I buy it. <laughs> yeah, so you could tell how big it is in comparison to her. Absolutely massive. And how much was it? They're like 10 bucks, right? Yeah, like yeah. 900 yen. 900 yen, so uh, like eight bucks, I guess. But yeah, giant cotton candies, and they make them right there. But again, I didn't want to buy one if I wasn't going to eat it, so thank you for letting me film yours. I appreciate it. Y'all have fun. So we're about to get like a pink Ohio cheese. Ohio Ohio Ohio. 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 Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, cheese. We'll do this. Okay. This. I don't know. Hi. One. Hi. Each. We're getting some, I don't know what it is. How much? 950. 950? I got to get more money. So I don't know what exactly we got but it's like a cheese, cheese rainbow thing. I don't know, we're just gonna go for it and try the cheese rainbow. They sell all kinds of interesting rainbow stuff, but yeah, we got the cheese. But there's so much like stuff on this though. I really hope none of it's mayonnaise. It looks like sugar, they told us it was no idea what is, uh, no idea what's in this. Let's go for it. It looks like potatoes covered in sugar. Yo, how is it? <laughs> that's weird. It's like fried dough with cheese in it. Sounds like a cheese stick. Mm -hmm. It's like cheese covered stick. in sugar. Smile, smile, smile. Oh, that's gross. Hold on, let me take one more bite. I have no idea what it is, but it's definitely good. I'm gonna let Griff try some now. So we discovered that it has hot dog in it, which is super weird. Isn't that mm. super good though? Like minus the hot dog? I don't think I would like hot dog in it. It's not bad. No, it's like a, it's literally, no. it tastes like a cheese fried dough. The sausage, the hot dog is good. You tried the hot dog and it was good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Huh? It's really hot. Huh? Absolutely no idea what it is aside from a like sweet fried dough hot dog. I don't want the hot dog. Yeah, he took a bite of the hot dog. I don't think I would like that. But yeah, I don't know. It's so colorful and you gotta pretty. Do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. I don't know you if you guys do can you gotta tell. Do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta it's do like it. pink and blue and green. Do um, it. Do all right, it. fuck it. I need a little it. bite of hot dog. A little bite. Watch little out. Oh, no, it's gonna fall. Ah, uh, put it that way. He caught it. He caught it. Did any get on my shirt? No, we good. Hold the stick. Hold the stick. All right. Yeah, it's oh. super good. Oh, the hot dog's gone. Where did the hot dog go? It's in there. No, it's not. Uh huh. The hot dog just <laughs> disappeared. Magic guru, this guy. Yeah, I don't know where the hot dog went, but this is really good. Um, yeah, we're just gonna continue to adventure Harajuku now. All right, guys. So this is not the Owl Cafe that I was planning to go to, but we just happened to walk by, and this is the Owl Forest, dude. Guys, that's a real owl. That's not fake. That's a real owl. There's another one right there. This guy right here. Oh, look at him, he looks crazy. What? I don't know if he likes the camera. I feel like that means he might not like the camera and he's trying to look big and scary. But we're just gonna go like up next to him. This place is so cool. Hey, okay. This guy does not like the video camera. 
I don't know why. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this guy alone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off for two seconds just so I can say hi, but he's mad. Okay, so I left I left the big mean one alone. Or not, he wasn't mean, but you know what I mean. I left the big one alone, but like, look at this. <laughs> he looks like a donkey. Are you gonna stand again? Um, we're in Shibuya. Shibuya? Okay, not far. <laughs> Little tiny owl. This is a great horned owl. I don't think none of them like the camera. I don't know why I feel bad. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't bite me, please. Oh. I don't know why they don't like the camera. I don't, I don't understand. Been to, uh, Before they didn't care. Sasebo? Before they didn't Japan. care. Sasebo I don't know. Like Literally none of them. Even this one too. Right when I pointed at him, he's like, yo, what is that? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know why none of them like it. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn you guys off because I'm making all the house mad and I don't want to piss them off. Maybe I'll show you a couple more if they like it. Okay, this one's really cool. Uh, we're not allowed to touch this one. But it's a great gray owl. Super pretty. I love like how they move and how their eyes move and the head. Badass. Yeah, not allowed to touch that one, but um, still super cool. Like you gotta keep your eye out here because it's super easy to miss them. Like this little teeny tiny guy right here. Like if you were walking too fast, you would definitely not see him. He looks so sleepy though. Dude, there's not many places you can go where you can literally just walk around a fake forest and pet an owl. Like, come on. This is great. I just, I hope they give them like chances to fly and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, they're not just here the whole entire time. Cause that would be sad, cause they wouldn't be able to fly around or even just move. But I'm sure they have cages and stuff and like a free flight area. But this is a Western Screech Owl. I think they have these in California, but. Super cool. All right, let's uh, let's see what's next on this owl tour. I think these would be my favorite type of owl if I have a favorite type. Um, and these are little barn owls. There's two of them. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, they're like they're like talking to each other. This is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hi. Hi. Again, they're both very intrigued by the camera. These ones don't seem like as mad by it or as frustrated by it, which is why I'm leaving it. That guy seems a little bit angry. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I wonder if maybe it's because they can like see themselves in the camera and that's why they don't like it. If you're ever in Tokyo, it's in Harajuku um, Owl Cafe or not Owl Cafe, Owl Forest. Definitely gotta do it. Look at those guys. They're so cute. Um, so the Owl Cafe was not, or the Owl Forest was not planned. Sorry, this is again, I'm trying not to walk into people while I'm looking at the walk camera talking. Um, the owl thing was not planned. What's up? <laughs> um, that wasn't planned, but that was still really cool. So I think I am going to go ahead and part two here. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two at whatever street this is. Shibuya, the owl place. Super cool. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, comment something down below, subscribe if you wouldn't mind. And I will see you guys for part three right about now. Peace.